Today was a semi-meseta day, which gave us unrealistic expectations for what the rest of the meseta would entail. We saw a beautiful sunrise and a ton of wonderful cats. It is 6.15 in the morning on day 13 of our Camino. We're leaving Burgos, heading to Pontanas today. We think we have around 28 kilometers. Yesterday we walked to the very end of Burgos, which was about three and a half kilometers from the city center. We got some ice cream cones and walked that yesterday afternoon just to take a little bit off the really long stage we had today. So today we took a taxi back to where we walked yesterday. Left at 6.15 because we have a long way to go and it's gonna be a hot day. The trail is beautiful at this time of morning and so far the footing today is fantastic. 501 kilometers, look at that. We are entering Tardajos. We've gone about seven and we're looking for breakfast. We're leaving Tardajos. We stopped here for a coffee and uh, we split a pastry. And there are a lot of nice looking places in Tardajos, but none of them are open. The only bar that was open uh, wasn't very nice. We didn't like it. So uh, there's another stop in two kilometers, 2.1 I think, that if we had to do over again, I think we would wait for that. And we may end up checking that out anyway and get a, like an orange juice there. Because frankly, we were scared to try the bathroom at this place, so. This is the old part of Tardajos. Much nicer than the part where we stopped. But we haven't seen any bars or anything in this part. Whoa! Look at the top of that church. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight storks. That's quite a few. Oh my gosh. Never have I ever seen eight storks on top of a church. We are not sure what's going on up there. Some of them are definitely storks. That one in the middle may possibly be a buzzard. We're not sure. Look at all the storks. We are entering Rabe de las Calzadas. Looks like another nice town. That's a cool, uh, cool sign here. Ultrea. Do you remember what exactly Ultrea meant? I think it meant something like keep going. No, it's like. One person will say Ultreya, and the other one is supposed to say Etsuseya. It's like the old style blend. Yeah. Yeah, the whole time we've been on the Camino, no one said Ultreya to us. But it's in we've a lot said of it to no one. Yeah, it is in a lot of graffiti and a lot of official signs to have it on there. So maybe that's a little old style Camino. Now it's Buen Camino to everybody. That's right. that's the greeting of one pilgrim to another. Buen Camino. Right. So we've seen tons of people doing this. It's at least a third of those I've seen today. Not sure what it's about. Curious though. This place is hopping. Great town. Very pretty. Cat count 18. What's up? What's up? I think Molly's just gonna stay here. Molly is dying to get a gray cat and look at that. <laughs> We're gonna get to our destination about midnight. Molly found her a cat. Uh, 
I think we go straight here. I'm really not sure. Yeah. This town, Rabe de las Calzadas, very cool town. Look at the mural. And then there's some pilgrims. See, we're up there with those three. A marker. They obviously think we're geniuses for doing this. That's why. Well, yeah. Okay, that's why we're on here. And then look, there's another one up here. That's and like, looks like a picture. This was a really cool town, though. They did have a couple of small albergues, I think. And I don't know if people would stay here instead of Burgos because Burgos is pretty darn great, but it's a nice place. Oh, look at that. Several towns have had these murals and I love them. Little church here. They had a bigger church in this town and it had a big stork's nest at the top. But after that last town, we're kind of like, one stork's nest? Ah, that's nothing. A lot of people think the Maceta's boring. I love looking at this. Yeah, that's beautiful. Out there. We may be tired of it after nine days, but right now, I'm loving it. Yeah. Um. Hello, Bill from Florida. You can go. Thanks. Our buddy Bill. So we've divided the Camino mentally into three pieces. She has. I have. The first part is was St. Jean to Burgos. That was kind of mountains and hills, green and vineyards, and a lot of wheat. The second part, and the first part was 12 days long. The second part is the Maceta, the plains. So we're kind of walking through central Spain. And here, there's going to be a lot of fields of wheat. And maybe not a lot else. Cats. 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 Five cats. Yeah. It's a good town. And uh, so this is going to take nine days to get through this. The next seven days, we don't expect any big towns until we get to Leon in seven days. And then, but we think we can cover pretty long distances in the Maceta because the stages are fairly flat. Today's been very flat. And then the last section will be from Astorga to Santiago. And that will be hilly, maybe even a little mountainous, greener. So three stages, St. John to Burgos, Burgos to Astorga, and Astorga to Santiago. So today we're starting the second part. And so far, it's been great. We've run into a number of people who are skip skipping the Maceta because it has a reputation for being long and boring. We like it. We like it. We anticipated liking it and so far so good. I have no problem looking at fields of wheat all day. I think they're lovely. So we've gone today, I think about 17 and a half. It wasn't hot until now. Now, now it's, it's hot. hot. So, but we only have another 10 or 11 and it's 1130 in the morning. So I think we're pleased with where we are. And uh, we're gonna crank this last bit out. We're coming on. And then crash it in Alberga tonight. Molly and Stacy, what a team. I've learned a lot from them in Houston, Texas. We're entering Hornillos del Camino. We've been chatting with Bill the whole way since the last town. Made this stretch move really fast. Hornillos del Camino. Looks really nice. Cat count 19. Oh, cat count 19. We just saw a cat. So I think we're gonna stop here, get a drink and some sunscreen on. So we are at 
La Casa de Abuela. We've gone about 17. This dog is apparently a resident of La Casa de Abuela. We're having a drink before we tackle our last 10 or 11 of the day. We are in the shade and we are going to so apparently that cat and the dog were not getting along well. So cat counts 20, by the way, because one just ran out that way. Oh, one just ran out that way. So 21. It's a black This was a white one. Did you scare those cats off? You took care of that? Small town life. kind of thinking about it but overall easiest day yet on our feet I hope the whole macetas like this it'll give our chance our feet a chance to recover a little bit wildflowers are showing off today people say the maceta is nothing but wheat so far, that has not been accurate. It's been lovely, but just really a beautiful day. We have gone about 22 kilometers today, 21 or 22. We have uh, less than seven to go. It's hot out here. We're a little lower than we expected on water because Molly's been carrying a full liter of water and she pulled it out to drink it and it was all cloudy and we decided not to risk it. But we still have my water. We only have 7K left or less. Four seventy-eight to Santiago. Turning out some good kilometers today. Here we go. This is the greatest location for an albergue in the history of man. And they have poppies and sheep. Thank you, Jesus, for this. There's a saying the Camino provides. We were thirsty, almost out of water. We had about four swallows each left. We're here in the albergue Fuente Cedras, two kilometers outside on Tanas. We stopped here for a drink. Then we decided to have cake. Then we decided to have lunch. This place is an oasis. We don't know exactly what these sheep are doing. Molly says they have, they have a huddle. They have, Oracle. We're having a meeting there. But we know we feel a lot better than we went in that place. So we are nearing where Ontanas is. We haven't seen it yet, but we hear it's in a little dip. And we see a dip up ahead. So we're thinking Ontanas might be in that dip. I see the trail coming out of the dip. I'm hoping between this part of the dip and that part of the dip there's a town well it turns out that the dip does contain on Tanis. there it is you're lovely on Tanis. look how beautiful that town is You can see our progress after walking for 13 days with the blue line on the right side of this map. When we arrived at our hotel today, we were exhausted, which is why Ontanas is one of the few towns we didn't tour at all. We enjoyed a communal dinner with fellow cat lovers. 
The town looked gorgeous, though it was very well camouflaged. If the whole Maceta was like that, then we can't wait for the next day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.